Okay, here we go. This is the bottom of the toolbar. We have four videos as it shows up on the screen. Okay, each one of those videos total, again, showing up on the screen is 40 minutes. Each individual one is up to 5, 8, 10, and 17 minutes for the total of 40. It goes at a very deliberative pace that allows you to get the information that is being presented. The first one here, as it shows again on the screen, is the 3D plan. Let's just take a look at that. All right, now the 3D plan is really comprises all three of the bottom right corner, which is the 3D, the plan view, and the elevation. Now, what we're going to show you is here is we're going to show you the shortcut to go to 3D, and then we're going to show you that if you use the arrows, you can make them go back and forth, or you can make them go round and round and round. All right, when you get in trouble, you can press back to the shortcut, or you can go back to the plan view one. Uh, we're also going to show you how to use two and what the arrow means. It means it's an elevation and what it shows. And then you get an idea what the angle is. So again, whenever you get in trouble, you go back to one. We're going to show you that when you do to have the whole screen and you go to 3D, what happens to these things? The annotations. Kind of interesting. We're then going to move to a, a shorter video, which is called the pan and the vertex. All right, now the pan tool is a very simple tool. It's located right here. And we're going to give you the shortcut, and we're going to show you, tell you how to left click and hold, and then how you can move the screen all the way around, anywhere you want. And then we're going to talk to you about the spatial difference orientation between all items on the one page that we're moving around because that's what we're doing. And we're going to then show you if you want to move a drawing, you can click on it and get your bisecting lines onto the vertex, or the, which is the nameplate, and we're going to move it anywhere you want. And you notice nothing else moves but that drawing. And then if you want, we want to move a whole drawing, we're going to lasso it which is a left click and hold, pull it over, lasso it, get the vertex, put the bisecting line on the vertex with a slash, and we're going to move this thing all the way around, anywhere we want. And basically, that's going to allow us to work on the drawing too when we do that, and we can uh, go to adjust height and make some changes in the drawing. Now, the next tool that we're going to use is one of the ones that are the toughest but I think the most useful and they are the zooms. Let's take the first zoom. First off we're going to take, we'll get to, here's our drawing and what we're going to want to do is I'm going to put this in the middle and we're going to talk to you about, I'm going to put it right up here and we're going to show you to this tool right here is the zoom tool, which is a two-in-one tool. Now watch. Press this shortcut, and you'll notice here we've got a plus. We left click, it gets bigger. Now if we want to change it to minus, right click, it gets smaller. Right click again, it gets smaller. Right click again, it gets smaller. Space bar, you'll see an X this time. One, two, three. Way too big. All right. Then we'll go back to zoom extent. So that's the zoom tool we're going to talk to you about. Then we're going to move back into the zoom in and zoom out. Very similar tool, which we've got to first off clear our cursor. And we're going to go to plus and do the same thing. Or we can do minus. 
the same thing as a zoom tool. So that's satellite or a zoom in tool plus, or we can do a satellite view, which means smaller and smaller and smaller, higher in space. All right, and then we're going to return to our favorite one, which is zoom to the extents. And we're going to take this and we show you that it puts everything on one page. So what we're going to try and do. We're going to try and move this a little bit down here and show you what Zoom to the Extents does. It fits it all on the page. Notice the drawing, the, the typing gets a little bit smaller. Now, if we want to work on a particular drawing, we'll just highlight one part of the drawing and we'll go to what is called Zoom to the Selection because we selected one roof. Notice how big it is and we can work on it. So that is the Zoom tools. Now, as the trailer indicates on the screen, we're going to now move to the last one, which is the toggle switches. Now, let's go find the toggle switches. The best thing to do is we have a screen. And let's say we don't, we want to show, let's see where we are. Okay, we're going to show you how, where's the roof name for this roof? There's the roof name. Where is it? It's not there. So if you go down to it, it's there. Now, what does that mean? That means you now have ability, you can move that if it gets in your way. And it does get in your way sometimes. So if you go back and you go, all right, there's the label. Now, what happens if you go negative on this. And that roof label is so big in comparison to the box. Well, you can get rid of it. And then you can bring back and you can work on the drawing as if it is until you can get it larger. We're going to show you uh, the roof annotations. We're going to show you by clicking on the toggle switch how you get rid of them. And that kind of clears everything out for you to work on the drawing. We're going to show you on, let's see, we'll show you on this particular drawing if we want to show the measurements on every part of the drawing. Look at that. You go back and on, off, on, off, on, off. Too many of them. Get rid of them. Notice it's not highlighted. Okay, so let's turn them off. And then let's highlight. Only one set of drawings. Is a, a, a set of measurements are on. So you can put the measurements on when the, when the drawing's not highlighted. All right. Well, we got a little bit in the way. What we want to show you, too, is the grid. See the grid here? See the grid? See the grid there? Gives you an idea. If you wanted to add something that maybe you missed and you want to get it in the proportion of the drawing, it allows you to do that. So you have the toggle switches that allow you to go ahead and show this. If you don't want to show the annotations, you don't have to have them. But if you want the annotations, there they are. So you go down here, annotations, no annotations. Wow, look at all that's gone. Okay, if you want to see, and we're going to bring this one over here, we're going, to, we're going to show you the roof annotations. What is that? That basically is, and we'll put it on here and zoom to the extents, and we're going to move this over here. Okay, we're going to get rid of the roof annotation. Goodbye, hello. It's basically the spreadsheet, and how often does that get in the way? It's nice to know where it is. So all told, these four videos just allow you to manipulate and to improve your drawing skills. Thanks again. I hope you purchase one or two or the whole set. And I think you'll, there, you'll see that there is some discounts afforded those.